Well, COPE leader Musiwa Lekota says South Africa should condemn the atrocities committed by Hamas. Lekota took part in the memorial gathering organized by the Friends of Israel in South Africa. Makailiche Kumalo has more there. Africans who are sympathizing with the states of Israel have gathered here in Johannesburg really just to look at the horrors uh, that's happened when that incursion occurred in Israel with, uh, of course, led by Hamas. But joining us now is the COP leader, Mr. Lekot. Thank you so much indeed, sir, for your time. First of all, let's look at your presence today. What message are you conveying, especially to the Jewish community in South Africa and in Israel, of course? Well, it's only to say to, to them, they must not abandon the path of peace. When Israel and Palestine agreed to the Oslo uh, agreement, when they accepted those, they accepted that they, they are obliged to work for peace. Hamas refused to be part of it. But the West Bank, which is committed to the Oslo Agreement, is a partner that Israel must not abandon. They must work together. They must join their efforts in isolating Hamas. Because Hamas does not, has made it quite clear, they don't want peace. If they don't want peace, they want the destruction of other human beings. And that is what will happen to them we will continue to support those who stand for peace and who are committed to, for peace. And that's why I'm here. And I really want South Africans to understand. They are told that there's apartheid in Israel. I have been there with other members, leaders of our organizations in parliament. We went there. We were both in Israel and in the West Bank, in Palestine. There is no apartheid at all. And it's wrong to use the word apartheid to describe what, is, what, what was happening in South Africa when we were under apartheid. Apartheid was not what is happening there. There, these people are, are together in, the, in, the, in parliament. There, they live together. Their buses, everything, there is, everything is integrated. They live together. There's no question about that. Nobody can challenge that. In the West Bank as well, it's like that. Is this Hamas? Is this Hamas that is pushing this agenda of killing people? And that's why they provoked this war now. Mm. Do you think, sir, the two-state solution, is it still viable at this point? It is viable. It, it, the only obstacle it has been um, Hamas. They did not want to commit to it. If they didn't, if they committed to it, nobody would be shooting people and compelling others to respond. And what do you make of South African government's stance? I mean, they've been calling for cessation of hostilities, but we saw yesterday the ANC really just uh, coming in the Palestinian scarves uh, and pledging solidarity uh, to the cause. You cannot, uh, when there are two people fighting, you cannot support one side against the other and then say that, no, you are, you are, you are moving, working for peace. You cannot do that. It's nonsense. P President Mandela was the one who urged us, comrades, we want peace here. We must talk to these Africaners and say to them, we want peace. And we did that. We did that in prison. We went to, uh, to President Mandela when he was uh, in, uh, in Pal. We spoke to him there about that and until we agreed and then the Africaners ultimately came to, to the party. And that's how we've got peace today in this country. We, you cannot. You see, the old chief, King Mushosho of Basutu, used to say, Peace is my sister. And if you are my people, you will respect peace. You will work for peace. Because peace is my sister. If you don't do that, if you don't do that, you can only destroy human beings. That's all you can do.